Okay, just doing a little quick video on the Multi Wii <coughs> 2.1 and uh, what the settings are. Now, a lot of people ask, um, or I think they ask the questions and are a little bit confused of what you set up. Do you have to have multiple settings? So, I'm going to run through mine stock standard out the box. Haven't changed anything really in the PIDs um, at all. Um, my expo rate is 0.2 and my RC rate is uh, 1.5 so that just gives a little bit more high performance my midpoint on my throttle is 50 and I don't fly with any expo there I don't I just want straight linear so the pitch uh, and roll rate and the yaw rate are both 0.03 now what that does is that gives you a little bit more fine tuning over your, uh, control of your copter there so a little bit more reactive I find this multi Wii 2.1 with a copter I'm flying whether it's the EECs or, um, or just the board or I don't know it just doesn't seem to be as reactive as I want so um, it's all connected uh, to the computer so let's go and have a look at what else we've got in here now here's and my usb is a little bit of an issue here um, so don't worry about that sort of fluctuating so i fly in level mode all the time right so here's how my switches work so my that's just stock standard everything off always in level mode okay so my three-way switch my first position i have is position hold so i'm flying along 100 mile an hour and i think okay let's stop hit the switch position hold all right so it stops dead in its tracks the only thing i can do now is go up and down so it doesn't go side to side or anywhere so the next thing i do if i hit the next position it does a return uh, to home and i've got landing lights there so anyway so it does a return to home so fly along normal whoops stop position hold and then we do a return to home okay now the other switch i've got is i've got the mag okay that's on the other ox2 switch so the mag all the mag does is really turn the copter around and face it the way that it was armed and it really doesn't do a lot but it's a feature that you have on and uh, I have that as a standalone okay so just mag um, altitude hold is another one it just speaks for itself so altitude hold is holds its altitude and then of course you've got the good old heads free which um, plenty of videos on my channel about that uh, face at north take off fly around in heads free doesn't matter which way the copter's facing and spinning it could be spinning around it will always your sticks will always go if you're going forward it'll go forward left and right left and right and back to you so it doesn't matter which way it's going it works off the compass so so let's say we're flying along we can actually do a altitude hold and we can do a position hold at the same time so it'll stop hopefully and hold its altitude and hold its position and then do a return to home at that altitude hold and it'll stay at that altitude so you don't actually have to set up multiple things to to use this um, they're, they're my my settings that's uh, that's how I go with it okay so not a lot else there um, as I said they're my stock settings um, with that I fly straight out of the box uh, the only thing I've really played with um, is these RC rates and the um, these rates in here and that's um, that's basically about it guys